Call second call um, Lindsey Cross and Troy Avera. If you go ahead and make your way up. This is Maria Wise from Levy County. I traveled a long way to be here to be able to speak to you in person and not just send something by email or by going to one of the open houses. And what I wanted to let you know was I have moved from Miami, from Palm Beach. I was part of the first comp plan committee in Palm Beach County. This year was supposed to be the build out 2020 when we did that comp plan in the 80s. I know people are coming to Florida, but they need to go where there's already infrastructure. We need to preserve our agricultural lands. In Levy County, I represent hundreds of equestrians that have moved to this area just for the natural habitats offered by this county. We spend millions in Levy County at local stores with local merchants. We do not need a toll road to bring in development pressures. And as many of you who sit around here know, development never pays for itself. It's the local people who end up paying the tax on local bonds needed to put in the infrastructure that was missing when they got there. There is no capacity issues on 9819. There are no capacity issues on 27 through this corridor. There are no capacity issues on 41. Why do we need this road? We do not need the road for any of those, of all those lists of things that they have put on this road. Really, internet is going to be wireless in the future. Really, do we really believe all of this that is being thrown at us? I do not believe the public believes it. I believe everyone who has come here and spent their own time, don't work for anybody, have no financial interest other than protecting the natural Florida that we all love, that are here to, make, to speak to you in person, even though it took two hours to drive here, all those hours to sit through the meeting, and finally three minutes to be able to say to you in person. We in the equestrian industry are a big industry in North Central Florida. We will be affected by the development pressures that this road will bring to our area. We do want to protect the GOPI and we want to make sure that it's added to the avoidance category. And I want to thank you all for this opportunity.